and true to Rick and Pietri style, we're on our way to Boardroom and we oh, it was actually recommended by somebody in Cabo Verde that we stop here. Yeah. So we're just having a quick stop over. Looks so nice. This is Captain Frick and his first mate Pietru. We decided to chuck everything, leave the rat race and just embark on a new adventure. And that is our new home, Sisu. So we can get something very local here. Yeah? This is the stuff that cruising is made of. Um, we found this cute little place here in Turkey and we just stopped here for a quick for a quick beer or two. What we're used to when we travel in South Africa by road, we have all these restaurants, uh, uh, what do you call them? Um, uh, at, at all the filling stations, you have like a little restaurant that you can go sit and eat. So it seems like they, they cater for the sailing community as well, to have little pit stops. This is awesome. So this was a, actually a very nice place. Uh, I think it was absolutely worth a stop. And the bathrooms are very clean. And there's like seven restaurants on this little small stretch of Yeah, there's a lot. It's there's amazing. a lot. Check out. There's many, 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 many. Many, 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 many boats. So it's very, very convenient to stop here. Yeah? But they all close for the winter. But I asked the guy, two weeks I asked him, can I even, there's no Rocky, no Ephes, and he says, maybe Rocky, maybe Ephes, <laughs> but no food. And the pontoons will all be closed, so we will need to anchor out there and then come with a little rubber. But we will see, no? Yeah. We will be around for the winter, so we will see. And Sisu is still there waiting for us, imagine she that. Didn't take the JT with her. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty afraid to tie up too close and too hard so there must be a lot of play um, on the mooring lines if there's not a lot of play Sisu can actually rip this thing out We are on our way to Bordrum to go and apply for our Schengen visas and this is our second little stop on route. We are about um, halfway to Dash Dashek and Dashek is about halfway to Bordrum so we just saw this cute place on the map and it's time to tie down. It's nice reviews on the maps, the comments. Nice owner of the restaurant, he comes and helps you catch the mooring ball and kind of likes you to go and have a pier this place. So we found this little place. <laughs> so Sisu's here, the dock is here. And look at this cute place. Captain's Captain Nemo's. There's some cows and everything. And all the little fishing boats here. And the 
he has a couple of mooring goals there as well <laughs> and you have to be careful because some of the mooring balls uh, is actually a turtle and the sea turtles here the head is as big as the mooring ball it is huge turtles here forgot that feeling the sun in my face it's so well needed life will take care of the rest biking alone in the sunset through the canals or the mindset i need And look at that, you even have a South African flag here. This is our flag. That's why we got woken up by one of these one cylinder diesel engines, I think. No, I think it's diesel engines or something. But they all sound the same. Right, yeah, duk, 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 duk. Whether it's a gullet or a small boat, they all sound like that. <laughs> yeah. And there was a donkey here last night as well, yesterday afternoon. And then there's a couple of turtles oh. in the bay. Yeah, they, there's a whole family or something because there's many of them, small and big and beautiful. They almost look like whirring balls. That's how big they are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you should just make sure you don't grab a live mooring ball. <laughs> the big fish is definitely <coughs> massive. hunting these little ones, I think. You can see every now and then this little fish, the whole school is just jumping out of the water, but like frantically just... It's like a wave. <coughs> yeah. restaurant but the thing that is just completely wrecks your mind is look at this clear water this is four meters deep Alibaba, Alidada, and route to the next little pit stop. Mm. 
Look at those buttes. As these Turkish bullets are just super amazing. So we stopped here at a place called Octopus, a place where they built the bullets, not octopus, but the area. Look, the bullets. Called a dream boat. No inclusive. We get one Ephes and two glasses. One Ephes and two glasses. Useful this boat in Marmaris. This is a shipyard where they built these kind of... Oh, maybe they just restored them here. So all of these gullets have been placed here on the heart, it looks like. They are now finishing for the season. I'm captain of the Metsi Escada gullet over there. We were gonna, can we walk through there just now to have a look at the like? boss? You can, of ah. course. Canadian. But first, we have, yeah. Oh. Metsi Yats have agreed to take me for a guided tour. I've often wondered what this looks like. There we go. Going up the gangplank. Oh, wow, look at this. Now, this is. As I say, about ready to go to shipyard. So we usually have some lovely cushions and sitting area back in here. Oh, this is pretty high up, eh? Mm hmm On the teak decks. How old is this boat? It was built in 2003. Oh, wow. Okay, so she's not a baby anymore. No, no, she's been around for a little while. This is our forward navigation and our kitchen. And kitchen? Yes. Can you believe it? Is this crew that sits here, yeah, obviously? Exactly, yeah. With all the maps, huge fridge and freezer. What it was, with a washing machine as well? Yes, yes, dishwasher, washing machine, microwave, oven. Probably ice maker as well. <gasps> Look how gorgeous this is. <laughs> this is so beautiful and this is where the, the, the captain stands and he uh, the majority so this is where he does the majority of the navigation so for a nice sun down it depending on the direction of the boat and the direction of the sun look how awesome this is up on the front oh this is so gorgeous and I bet everybody wants to go up here yeah, eh? absolutely Including me now. Yeah. There's usually nice cushions up there so you can lay up there and sun as we go. Oh wow. I feel like the Titanic. <laughs> hey, this is so Titanic.
we came to the little town of Dacha. And we anchored Sisu. We had to reset because I was not happy with the scope. And if we let up our scope, we will get closer to the side. So we reset the anchor. And look at this little town. Either or, we're going to have quite a climb to get onto the jet. I don't see any ladders anymore. No ladders. There's a, let's ask that guy with the red shirt. Yep. Cute, there's restaurants here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a cute place. Yeah. We're going to go hunt for a place where we can go watch rugby tomorrow. So Tipex is tied off and this is our first impressions of Dacha. We know there's an Irish pub somewhere, so let's let's go see if we can find the Irish pub. We will find it. The little town of Dacha is just waking up. And we are anchored here in a small harbor of Dacha. So the sun is now up and we are getting to ready to go and watch some rugby. We're not really rugby fans. But when South Africa is in the final of the World Rugby Cup, I think we just have to go and find a place. And we found a place over there. Look at this pretty picture where we're going to. And you can almost say this is the complete dacha. Okay, this is the southern side of dacha. The side just over the hill over there is the northern side of Dacha. So this little peninsula here is actually dividing the north and south bays. So we're now in the southern bay and then there's a northern bay. And perhaps after the game we will come to this side and explore a little bit these little beach restaurants. It looks also very very good. I think we need to go and explore them as well. Just look at that. Go and watch the Rugby World Cup. And we are playing against England. England. And my prediction is we're going to take it again. <laughs> it's about high time South Africa takes okay. some World Cup 